Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming at you week in, week out. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, and a shalom to the elect. This is Ashan coming at you with another video. And um, I was uh, going over, uh, you know, searching YouTube, and I came across uh, this cartoon. It's called The Legends of King Solomon. Now, we all grew up uh, in America, right? And um, growing up in like the 80s and the 90s and so on and so on, you grow up, you think in, uh, you see images. And what Esau, see Esau understand optics, you know, e Esau understand optics and he understand images. That's why uh, referring to Job. 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He cover up the faces of the judges thereof. See, what he did was he know that uh, vision and optics go a long way. So if you grow up seeing that the white man is is the, um, the, 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 the good guy, the white man is the one that always get the girls and the dark man so-called black man is the second-hand citizen. He's the helper. He's the he's the one. He's always the gay one to play in the movies. The uh, he's he never he's 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 always either the sidekick or the bad guy. You know, the one that's never getting the girl. If you look at the movies, as I was growing up, I always wonder like why the black man in the movies never get the kit. You know, Esau had. If you're a so-called white man, you, you throughout the movies, you got the kissing scene. Esau is kissing the finest girl in a movie. And but you'll never see Jake, Jake doing that in these movies. And this just another play on our mental, too. These little cartoons right here. That's why, I, you know, this I pulled this up in the video. The Legends of King Solomon. Because first of all, King Solomon was a black man. But Esau being a devil, he got to make King Solomon white. Then he made, as you look on the screen, let's go to it. And this is just a little bit in it. He portraying the, you know, the so-called dark, which would be the Israelites. He making them out. He making us out to be Hamites. You see, Esau a little devil, man. I'm going to play a little bit of this. And he got Queen of Sheba. And, and, and back then, Queen of Sheba... Most likely she was a Hamite race. But you know what he's doing? He's trying to make himself the Israelites, which he always do. You know, he paints himself out to be Jesus. And we all know, you know what? Let's let's play this and then I'm going to hit the scripture. So soon, but we've been traveling for the last two months, my queen. Another thing I'm going to say too, Esau understand about the seed. See, you Negroes out there, y'all, Y'all don't understand that the man carried a seed and that the sons and the men are the leaders. See, Esau knows this. That's why he don't mind making the so-called black woman a bed wench, his little ghetto gagger. He don't mind that. See? So you wanna, you Jakes wanna pitch a woman on on a on a pedestal, you know? And it ain't like that. You supposed to be the leader. See, Esau knows. By implanting his seed in the black one, it don't matter. Because he's trying to get his color back anyway. But he knows his race continues. When It don't matter who. When a man lay, lies down with a woman, that seed, that seed carries your uh, nationality. All right? That's why we, we when we're on the highways and byways, and I meant to say, I, um, I'm going to bring this back up when I, uh, Lord willing, I do a part two on uh Talking about your lineage and the fathers, uh, your fathers, um, the term of your Israelite, because the line, the line comes from the man, the lineage, you know, going back to numbers. Um, it goes by the house of your fathers, your nationality, you know. But uh, let's go on with this. But 
Nanny, if I have to win Solomon's heart, I need plenty of time to get my makeup right. True love needs no makeup. Oh, Hannah. Girls today are only interested in what... ...to leave her side. No way. Just look how lovely she... Lucky. See, they got King Solomon portrayed as a white man. Look. Uh, you can go now. <laughs> See? But I had to fast forward a little bit in, into it. Let me take it away. are reenacting David's great victory before your lovely eyes. Hey, it's about your old man, David. I'm sick of people going on all the... And see, kids are growing up thinking that King Solomon was a white man. A so-called uh, uh, Edomite, you know? And that's how Esau did. That's why you have your, you know, you might have a, uh, for the brothers of the camp, you, you might have uh, growing up or your children, they growing up, you got daughters or, or they want to play with the white Barbie doll. It's an Emma's thing. Then they get Esau is a slick devil because he made him, himself out to be the winner, which the earth is giving it to the hands of the, of the wicked. So he is running, running the earth. But that's why our women are uh, so quick to get with Esau and, and the other nations. The other nation um, women as well. They so quick to get with Esau because Esau Esau want to paint himself out to be the uh, the right the winner the righteous one and all that. When he's the devil, you know he ain't never did a uh, did a damn thing. He wasn't no prominent man. All he was was the damn devil. You know King Solomon was a black man. Matter of fact, you know what? That's, it's time for us to get these scriptures. All right. Let's go to Romans. Let's start it off with Romans. Go straight to the uh, Romans 9 and 13. Because the Lord loves us. It says, as it, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord don't love you devils. Let's get John. Go to John. Chapter 7, verse 38. And this wise, this is, this is important because it's in the scriptures. It says, He leaveth on me as the scriptures had said, out of his belly shall flow, rhythm, live, flow rivers of living water. Let me read it again. It says, He that believeth on me as the scripture have said, and ain't it in the scriptures that the Lord is a black man? A so-called black man, a man of color with woolly hair. Ain't it in the scriptures that the Lord has a, a, a woolly beard? Matter of fact, it's in the scriptures that the Heavenly Father is a so-called black man. And let's get it. Uh, Revelations. Chapter one. So this is th that's blasphemy with uh, Esau's dawn. Let's start at one. It says. The revelation of Hamashiach, Yahweh which the, the Heavenly Father gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it, signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay, let's go down to verse 13. It says, In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, 
and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle like a, a belt, a gold belt. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So he had great white woolly hair. He had white woolly hair. Who who the only uh most of the race of the uh people that have woolly hair? So called Negroes. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. He had red, red eye. And I'm gonna say this, those a lot of those Hamites, they don't even have woolly hair. They got they 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 have like they don't their hair is not woolly. A lot of their hair, because the dark nations for the most part have woolly dark skin and woolly hair. But those hand mice, they be having like, they got like a brillo. Their hair is like, they just different from the so-called Negro. They're, 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 they look similar to us, but they're another nation. You know, Jake had woolly hair, you know, from, you know, um, I forgot what, how they break it down. They call it C, C1 and C4 and all that. But Jake has, for the most part, has had woolly hair. And, and beards, and you know, woolly beards, uh, hair on their face. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass is is a derivative of brown, right? Or it's, for the most part, brown. It says, as if they burn in a furnace. So you take anything and burn it in a furnace, it's going to be darker. So he was a dark brown man. He was a dark-skinned brown uh so-called negro which he was a dark-skinned israelite so the lord had white woolly hair he was a dark-skinned israelite with white woolly hair that's basic that's for the most part that's what it was and the heavenly father is a dark-skinned uh man with woolly hair it says and his voice as the sound of many waters you ever go to the ocean and hear the waters you ever, matter of fact, go to a cliffside and hear how the war, how violent the water is and how heavy the water sound? Yep. That's his voice. It's deep. Basically, it's saying he has a deep voice. The sound of many waters. That means deep waters, you know? A lot of, a lot of water. Many waters, that's a lot of water. That's deep. He got a deep voice. You know? Um... Yeah, so I think that's, for the most part, that was my point, you know? Um, you know what? Let's get uh, the Heavenly Fathers. Let me see. Uh, the throne. Let me see that. I believe it's in Daniels. Uh, sit on the throne. Okay, let me see. I was trying to get the... Uh, the one in Daniels where it talks about the Heavenly Father. Hold on. 